It's not every day that you get new video games for a console that's over 40 years old. I love when new games come out for classic consoles. I love supporting the homebrew and aftermarket scene. So in today's video, I purchased three games. They're not available anymore, but I'm still gonna unbox them and share these games with you as it's kind of cool to see what the Intellivision was capable of. You know, earlier this year, I did a video on Intellivania, and that's a Castlevania-style game that was made this last year. And it's just impressive what programmers have done to make games for this console that is fairly old. So in today's video, I'm taking a look at three new games. One's kind of a semi-PC port, the other two are arcade ports, and all three are great. I want to share these projects with you. So sit back, relax. You may want to grab some popcorn. Here we go. Here's my pristine and television two that I'm using to capture footage. I actually had it modded by Ivory Tower Collections. He does excellent work and the link will be below to his YouTube channel as well as his business page connections. And here it is. Here is good enough. And this is Goonies, but this is the PC port. Uh, I do believe the MSX kind of version of the game, not the Famicom and not the arcade version. So really want to share this with you. It's amazing. Uh, it has a, a, a full color manual as well as uh, excellent cart. And it even has overlays. That's so awesome that they went all out. Uh, obviously, they're huge Goonies fans. You know, Collector Vision just does some awesome work. And so here's the instruction manual. It goes over the control. Actually, controls really well with the with the Intellivision controller. And so lots of secrets, lots of ways of, of progressing in this game. There's even some uh, inputs that you can do to progress. I'm just going to show the first stage as this is an amazing game and I'm so excited. I'm a huge Goonies fan and really nice to see a Goonies style game on the Intellivision. And so I don't know if you remember playing the arcades or even the MSX port. I got the great opportunity of actually visiting the Goonies house in Astoria, Oregon. And it was really neat. Uh, this is when they did tours inside. Can't wait to check this out. Here we go. So this is it. Um, obviously the name is kind of a, a, a take from the hit single from Cindy Lauper, uh, good enough. And so a nice combination there of Goonies and that radio hit. Yes. Uh, two different difficulty settings. I'm going to keep the music on as you know, to me, Goonies had excellent music and was, was a great little classic side scroller. So here it is. And so you have essentially jump and punch. I do believe the MSX port, you're playing Sloth. It doesn't say who you're controlling here, but you're going around, you're uh, collecting the Goonies uh, behind these gates with, with keys, you unlock them. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the doors take two keys to unlock, and so this progresses to the next part of the stage. You have a health bar, it's pretty generous, but um, things do uh, take, it, take you down, you know, various things, you know, there's like, acid water and various enemies touch you and then you can get damaged but you can punch them uh your range is fairly small but yeah it's nice animation nice color and graphics especially for an intellivision game well done the intellivoice was an underutilized accessory for the intellivision that added voice to games and i think anybody who had the console wanted to have a port of gorf and now now there finally is one even though it's in limited supply there's only i do believe 100 copies of these floating around and anyways here's gorf and this is a well done arcade port including all five stages has overlays like the previous game i showed it has a color manual this is awesome you know uh you know i was a big fan of arcade ports especially to the atari 2600 but you know uh, the Atari 2600 at the time was fairly limited. The Intellivision was more capable and I'm really excited to see what they do with this arcade port and especially with the Intellivoice uh, add-on and it being compatible with that. I think that's awesome. And so here we go. And so here, here's Gorf. And for people that want to know, Gorf 
is short for Galactic Orbiting Robot Force. And so, yes, uh, this is just a classic 80s game. And if you had any experience in the early 80s in arcades, uh, you would see this game around. It had a kind of a cool controller, and it talked, and it was, uh, it was like Space Invaders, but to me it was a whole lot more. Four different stages. The first stage does remind me of Space Invaders, but it gets pretty intense, you know, and this has really nice graphics. And what I like about this port, it has really fast arcade gameplay. You know, if this came out back in the day, this would be a smash hit. It has all five stages represented. Pretty tough. So, you know, I just want to share what it looks like on the Intellivision. Great, great looking game. The sprites are nice and large. The cool thing about Gorf was really like offering different arcade experiences all in one. This, this is kind of the Galaxian stage. So while the first stage was like Space Invaders, this is like a completely different shooter. So that was awesome. This stage is really tough. Had a hard time with this one, <laughs> died quite a bit. But once you get past this, then you face off against the boss. You know, for, for an Intellivision game, this is pretty impressive. And, you know, I, I really enjoyed this arcade game back in the day. Uh, the, but the, here's the boss ship. It's here. And, uh, yes, and so do you remember playing this one? Have you ever played Gorf? Uh, whether in emulation or on another port of it. It was on the C64, Atari 5200, uh, even on the... Commodore VIC-20 and so there's many different versions of it so it's nice to see a version made for the Intellivision pretty awesome and with the voice added it makes it one of my favorite versions of this game now I've always been drawn to earlier arcade hits and this is Death Race Death Race was kind of originally an afterthought but it was released and fairly popular at least for uh, the time period it came out you know this is kind of a mid to late 70s racing game uh, kind of controversial because you're 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 running over monsters called gremlins i do believe what it's called in this version but yeah it has a nice overlay and instruction manual i mean it was at the time uh you know today it's super primitive but you know at the time it was uh it was very advanced and uh and violent and so uh, it has uh, an arcade uh, stand up in the instruction manual thought that was kind of neat and wanted to wanted to share that the original I do believe was black and white this has a color option and you know one of the only of a few ports of this to home consoles there also was an Odyssey 2 homebrew aftermarket game made let's check out the gameplay there is like an entire generation of early arcade classics that are being forgotten. And so what I love about these ports is it kind of shares kind of that experience with a whole new audience. And this is Death Race. You have uh, different modes, love that. Uh, some different time options. This is the uh, black and white version. And so it's a two player game and essentially you're trying to run over gremlins and you get a score and so uh, the controls pretty good with the uh, television controller at least with the Intellivision 2 controller it was it was uh, pretty easy you know Intellivision had some great two-player games so this is kind of a welcome addition to a simple arcade game that's two-player kind of makes me wonder what else Intellivision could have done and made back in the day I can't wait to see what else is going to be made for the classic console you know as a big Intellivision fan, it was really neat to see these, and I definitely can't wait to play them more. If you have a, an Intellivision memory, or even a classic arcade memory of any one of these games that I'm showing, definitely put it in the comments, as I love to hear your stories. These games are made by Collectorvision and aren't available as they were done in very limited batches, but you know, it's really cool to see these projects still come out. You know, like many homebrews and aftermarket games, these are done in limited production. You know, it's 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 a labor of love putting this stuff together and it really shows with these games. So what was your favorite? Do you remember playing any of these in the arcades or playing the original Goonies game? Uh, you know, whether it was the Famicom release or the Versus arcade game. So definitely want to hear your stories. I'm a huge Goonies fan and I had to pick that up because, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a great classic movie and the games are pretty good too. 
So thank you so much for the ongoing support. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.